Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and I am glad you're here because I have a crazy story to tell you. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's a great media find, a physical media find. I, I don't even know how to tell the story. So uh, I was at Walmart. I ran into Walmart to look for those um, the DC Comics, the Walmart exclusive DC Comics, looking for issue number two. They didn't have them. They're not out. Uh, so I walked back to the media section, as I do, uh, to see what's going on, and they're in the middle of a reset, and I think the idea is the media section is getting smaller. It's another one of those, like Target did it a few months ago. They're shrinking the media section, and I thought that was going to be the story, so I'm in there taking pictures, and I'm looking through the media. There's like Most of it is just empty, and there's holes everywhere. There's stuff where it's not supposed to be. There's like... Mill Creek box sets in places that have like $40 price tags for other box sets. It's just a mess. It's an absolute mess. And I look over and I see, staring back at me from a shelf, I see this. This is Zombie 3. This is the Severin Films. Uh, it's a limited edition of 3,000 units. This is the Lucio Fulci movie, Italian horror director Fulci. Uh, this is uh, his. This is Zombie Three. This is a boutique release. I don't think these ever showed up in any WalMarts. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think like you order this from Severin and sometimes through Amazon. And then I turn around and I'm looking at. Other, I was like, that's weird. So I took a picture of it and I was gonna be like, weird seeing a Severin release in WalMart. Um, and then I turn around and there's Zombie Four, uh, <laughs> which is. Again, limited to 3,000 units. Now, these are still available on Severin's website. Um, I popped over there just to check it out and see what's going on. And I was like, this is weird. Like, did Severin cut a deal with Walmart? And then I look up, like, three shelves above that. There's, like, an island in the middle of the Walmart uh, show floor with basically $10 uh, Blu-rays on it. It's, like, the Mission Impossible movies. Uh, what else is on there? It's more recent releases. Um, stuff that they know they can move $10 and then they're out of place just kind of sitting on top was the Vestron video release of the Lair of the White Worm uh, and I was like okay I know that's not supposed to be here that's three that's three strikes man there's no way these are all supposed to be uh, here and none of them had price tags none of them were they were where they were supposed to be so I'm looking at the tags right like I'm looking at I was like okay that's not it that's not it and they're nowhere so I go over to the scanner. There's a scanner like three aisles over in the paint section. And so I scan all three titles. And it says, please see store associate. So it's like, that's weird. That's so weird. So I go look for a store associate. And again, remember, they're like in the middle of a reset of the whole floor. So there's like a stock crew out. There's a... Uh, the the inventory people, like a, a third party inventory company, is like moving the entire shelves around and stuff. And so I find an employee, and I said, "Hey, uh, I found these three titles in your media section, and they don't have prices, and they're not ringing up. At, like when I scan them, they're not ringing up at all. It says to ask a store associate." And she was like, well, where did you find him? And so I walked her over there, and I was like, well, it was sitting here in this slot, and as you can see, this is for something else. Um, and this one was over here in front of like Sicario and uh, this one was down here in front of these Mission Impossible movies like on top of them and she was like huh and so she's like scanning them with her little you know the bloop little boop gun and they're not coming up she's like well how much would you be willing to pay for them <laughs> Right, and I was like, like you're watching this video, you're like, what? So I was like, I mean, I don't know, because rule number one of negotiations for something like this is that you never want to be the first party to throw out the number. So I was like, well, I don't know. Um, they're, you know, they're B movies. I don't know what the retail for these things are, which it was true. I did not. Um, and she was like, well, how about I just sell them to you for five dollars a piece? What? I was like yeah okay so she walked over to the counter and she sold them to me it's the craziest one of the craziest retail experiences i've ever had i still can't explain it why were these three boutique releases so this is these are from severn films 
3,000 units. They're $28.99 through Severin right now. So they're still available. They're not quite out of print. And then uh, this Lair of the White Worm was 40 retail price. This is a Lionsgate. So Lionsgate puts these out. These are not available in Walmart. These are boutique horror releases. I do not understand what they were doing there. The only thing I can think of is that maybe someone had done a online order and they'd been sent to the store for store pickup because that's a big thing that Walmart's trying to do is the store pickups. And then whoever bought them never came to get them and they ended up just like lost in the warehouse or something or some uncaring employee was like, well, I'll just go put these out in the movie section, not caring that they're not in the system. Um, that's a speculation. That's I, who can say no one will ever know, but that's my, that's my best guess is that these ended up at the store somehow, probably from an, an online order, or maybe someone bought them online and then returned them to the store and they just ended up with them at the store. But these, have you guys ever seen a Severin movie in a Walmart or a Vestron video release from Lionsgate in a Walmart? And if you did, I know they weren't $5, probably 20 if I had to guess, probably tw maybe 25 I don't know. Um, so this goes down as one of my best, craziest retail experiences of all time. So I got scammed and I'm not even sure how, like it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. So I opened the Blu-rays after I stopped recording the video that you just were watching and they weren't Blu-rays inside for the zombie movies. They were DVDs and they were like old looking DVDs. So I was like, well, that's weird. Why would Severin have old DVDs in their new limited edition Blu-ray release? And so I put them on my computer because that's how you can really get to the bottom of some things. And what I discovered is that they are old Media Blasters discs of those movies from like 2002. So a sub-label of Media Blaster is called Shriek Shack, I think, or Shriek Show, something like that. Uh, and I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand what happened. I don't know how. Did someone buy the Severin discs and then unwrap them and then open the bottom because they they had the seal sticker like the the factory sticker on the top of the the blu-ray cases and it was intact so did they like open the bottom and take out the old di the, the discs the blu-rays and then put in their old media blasters discs or is the whole thing just some elaborate scam um I don't know how it happened. I still can't quite figure it out, but that's the fact is that they were Severin discs, or I'm sorry, they were Severin Blu-ray cases, at least they appeared to be, with old 15 plus 2002, so 16 year old DVDs inside that looked like garbage. They are not the Severin. The Severin special. I went to the website for Severin and looked at what's on those discs. It's not a Severin disc. It's an old Media Blasters disc. So how does that happen? Um, the artwork looks legit. The three limited edition sticker looks legit. The manufacture, you know, like the the theft proof sticker on the top of the case looks legit. Um. I really don't know. Is that like, could it be a Severin? Like, the, I don't I have no idea. I all I can figure out is that it's either a bootleg of some sort, or someone was trying to scam Walmart, get the new Severin discs, and then return them to Walmart for a refund. So they're like, well, I'll get them for free. And maybe they did. Like I said, maybe they opened it and took out the disc from the bottom and put the old disc in, 
in case someone had questions and then resealed it somehow like re factory shrink wrapped it because that is a thing you can do and I will say like if you've ever been in a movie stop though it's they're not around anymore but like a movie stop or like a a uh, what's the one that the Hamble, uh no uh, Hastings, like Hastings stuff sometimes if they resealed something, they had a, a sealing, like a shrink wrap machine in the store and it had a smell and these packages had that smell. So it's apparently some elaborate scheme. The Vestron video Blu-ray for um, the Lair of the White Worm appears to be legit. I, it, it is a Blu-ray. It has the Vestron markings on it, so unless I can figure out that that is also some sort of an elaborate scam, uh, I did pick up that, and I did get you know five, I did pay five dollars for it, so that's a good deal. Uh, I did since I've made the video, I went back to Walmart and I got my money back, and they didn't care. You know, I've heard that Walmart will take anything back, and I think that that must be true. Like whether they sell it or not, they'll just take it back. That may be how they ended up having those discs in the first place is that somebody bought them, pulled this switcheroo and then went and got their money back because Walmart will refund anything apparently. I don't know, but uh, I got my money back. The person who refunded me my money did not care. I started to tell her the story. She wasn't invested. She just handed me my money. So uh, I'm not out anything. And I do have the Vestron video Blu-ray, so I'm happy to have that. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't disappointed, uh, that I wasn't sad about it, and that I didn't feel stupid for getting so excited about it in the first place. Um, if it's too good to be true, I guess it probably is too good to be true. Um, so that's a somber end to this video, I guess. I got taken advantage of I not personally like no one took advantage of me personally I got scammed I got uh, swindled I got taken <laughs> hoodwinked see um, it's weird and I would love to know how it happened like how they got old discs in new severin cases unless it's a complete fabrication in which case the level of quality for the what what might be a bootleg was incredible just incredible um so i don't know it's weird it's a real weird thing <laughs> real weird thing that happened so it is a very crestfallen heath a very deflated heath that uh says to you thank you for watching this video i guess when you keep your eyes peeled for good deals but keep your eyes peeled also for deals that are too good to be true all right Energy up. Uh, guys, thank you for watching this video. Do you have any experiences like this? Has anything like this ever happened to you? What might have happened leading to this swindling, this uh, really rotten experience? Do you have any theories? Uh, I'd love to hear them. I'd love to know if you've ever had anything like this happen to you. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, and I will catch you later.